So just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2023 and a bit of a curiosity that happened a few weeks ago when somebody asked for help with something and that was to see if he could get Q by frame. And I was like, what is Q by frame? And then he mentioned these old players that was actually also my very first CD player for DJs, so DJ player back in the mid nineties. It's like, can I get Q by frame? Like there were on these things because I'm used to using that. Uh, so what that really is that it is supposed to be like so you when you play pause this and you search on it With the search buttons it plays one frame from the CD and then you simply move um, With the search button until that's it's kind of quiet So just before the beat and then you press Q to get a Q, good Q point now, I don't own one of these players anymore. Well, maybe I do in my in my parents basement uh, like 500 miles away, so uh, that's not gonna be what I, I use here. So I just found a YouTube video on it So that demonstrates a little bit uh, what it does. So let's just check that out. So this is not my video This is just someone demoing this feature on this old unit Explain the good factors to so So that was basically what we are trying to achieve here, Q by frame. So you might want to say, why would I want to do that in 2024? And I'm not sure. But this guy wanted it, so yeah, maybe we could do it. But I looked into it, I'm not sure how. But of course, there was someone, there was a Phantom DJ, one of the developers on the forum, that figured out a way to do this by re-scripting or remapping a little bit of a script. So I tried to do that on one of my controllers as well. So that's the controller down here. So the idea is now that if I press pause, uh, or Q, and I start moving the jock wheel, that's the, the search on this thing, right? Then it should do the Q by frame, so it should start playing a very short loop, basically, because we don't have frames anymore, right? Um, so let me just demo that, so I'll just move on to Visual DJ up here. So I already have a Q point, but we don't want to use that one, we want to try to do it ourselves. So I'll just play here. And then I want to find this spot. And then when I move this round, it'll do a very short loop. And you can hear the kick. And I'm moving on to the other side of the kick. Like this. And then I press Q now. And I got a Q point right there. And then I press play. I can do it again. Q, play. So now I use the Q by frame to set a Q point. I'm not sure this is really, really valuable in this day and age, but it's a little bit funny that it can still be done, right? So uh, if you want to try it, I'll link the scripts I've used um, in the video description. Those are actually uh, scaled down, uh, minimized scripts from what uh, Phantom DJ posted because he also took into consideration that you could be in vinyl mode and uh, you could be in the already set cue points and stuff like that. So I'll link to his post also. I'll also link to the YouTube video, of course, because you should always do that. So that's basically uh, uh, what this video is about. So a bit of a curiosity, in case you used the physical CD players for DJs back in the 90s, you may want to try this. It's, it's kind of fun, but uh, maybe not so use, useful in 2024.